Hello dear students, I welcome you back for our history session. Today we start with lesson number 3 in the earliest cities. So before we actually discuss with these earliest cities, I would just like to ask you that have you seen any dilapidated buildings or any ruined houses in your locality or somewhere where you had been for a vacation you must have seen certain places which are in ruins the remains of those houses are just kept like that but when you closely look at those particular houses or buildings or any of the monuments we find they are the architectural marvels a very beautiful designing done on the doors on the walls and sometimes a different kind of a construction method used for these houses. And then why were these houses in ruins? Due to some of the disasters or maybe there is no one to stay in that house now, no actual owner to be known and so those houses are just kept as it is. But then if we actually write to our government, if we go come across such a beautiful architecture or construction place, we could always reconstruct it, repair it and then people could try and study about those remains. So today we are going to actually see about these cities which were into ruins due to some of the reasons. So let's see what are we going to do in this particular lesson. So in this lesson we are first going to focus on the story of Harappa or the story of Indus Valley Civilization and then some specialities of these cities. Then how was the life in the cities and villages during that time period? The different art and craft material that was manufactured or people were engaged in doing those. A closer look at some of the Harappan towns like Lothal, Dholavira, then the important part, the mysterious end of this civilization. And finally, we also just have a look on the great pyramids. So as you can see in this picture, this is actually the story of Harappa. So nearly say about uh, 100 to 150 years ago, there was a construction of railway lines going on in Punjab and the engineers were in search of bricks. So as they were moving from place to place over there, one of them happened to stumble on some dumped material. So when they went over there and closely had a look, they just saw that this dump was actually a free and ready-made high quality raw material which would help them in the construction of railway line and what was that those were the high quality baked bricks and so they carried whatever bricks were available these people carried and constructed the railway line and as they moved far away from that area in search of more bricks, they just saw that it was actually a city. And these bricks are from the walls of the old buildings which were destroyed due to some reason. And then many buildings were completely destroyed by them in this process. So as they thought, as it is these buildings are into ruins, why to just keep these walls so we could take all the bricks what are available and that would help us in construction of the better railway line. And so all the buildings were destroyed by these people also. So then about 80 years ago or say 100 years ago from date, some archaeologists came to know about this site. And then they realized that this was one of the oldest sites in our subcontinent or one of the most important cities which would help us to know about the ancient time period. And these cities belonged to almost about 4700 years ago. So if you remember, we had just studied that some of the oldest cities or the most important cities were 
settled along the river Indus and its tributaries. So certain civilizations which came up near the rivers, this is one of the oldest one that is 4700 years ago near the river Indus. And we also discussed that why the settlements or the civilizations develop near the water resources. Right, And then as the city of Harappa was one of the first city which was discovered near the Indus Valley area, the entire set of cities or the different cities like Mohenjo-Daro, Lothal, Dholavira, Rakhigari, all these are also known as cities of Harappan civilization. So this particular civilization as it is known as the Indus Valley civilization also has a name as Harappan civilization. Okay, and why it is called as Indus Valley civilization? Because this civilization emerged on the banks of the river Indus and its tributaries. And the next question, why do we call it as Harappan civilization also? Because Harappa was the first city to be discovered from this civilization. I hope this point is clear to each and every one. And then there are certain buildings, certain things which are the remains used by the people also resemble similarities. So things found in Harappa can be related to things found in Mohenjo-Daro, similarly related to Lothal, Dholavira and other places. So this entire set of cities was also known as the Harappan civilization. Now then uh, we all know that if we find certain ruins of certain buildings or certain remains on certain sites, what do people do? People actually abolish it maybe for the construction of new roads and new apartments because people don't understand the importance of learning and knowing about our past. We all know that when we learn about our past, we come to know about so many different things. Now here, as we proceed, you will also come to know about the type of construction and the material that the people in Indus Valley Civilization used. Right? So let's proceed with this. See, this is a map which tells us about the Indus Valley Civilization. So here, we can also see, see we can see Harappa which lies here. Mohenjo-Daro which is in present day Pakistan and then in this particular area you also find Lothal, Dhulavira and then below Harappa over here there is a new site which we, the archaeologists have excavated and they are studying and working on it and that is known as Rakhigari. If you can refer the map given in your textbook you find all these names mentioned properly at proper places. So let's move on. The next thing that we are going to do is what is special about these cities? There must be something special and that's the reason archaeologists have taken keen interest in excavating these sites and yes, till date these pro this process is going on. Some of the things are yet to be identified. They have to be deciphered. So what is decipherment? Knowing of certain script, right? The script which is mentioned on the walls or on the seals and coins of this Harappan civilization is not yet deciphered. The people are not able to know its meaning. So in this special about cities, we are going to focus on the architecture and construction of houses, streets and drains. So you can actually imagine even almost about 5000 years ago, people were well planned with how the houses should be constructed, from where the streets would pass, how would be the drainage system. So, so many different things people thought in those particular areas when we actually did not know whether people had the theoretical knowledge, whether they went to school, whether they referred books because the script is not yet deciphered. Right? So let's move on with architecture. So as I mentioned, in architecture, we are going to see about the houses, streets and the drainage system. 
so now these cities in indus valley civilization generally were divided into two different parts so one part was in the western part and that was known as the citadel citadel was comparatively smaller area but it was on a higher place and then the other one was the eastern part and that was the lower town so citadel was at a height than the lower town now what was so important about these areas like if we say the eastern part which is known as the lower town that was inhabited by the common people and then the citadel area had all the important buildings and houses of the rich people the rich merchants traders and even rulers and leaders and two to three important features of the citadel area we can say there were assembly halls that means a huge hall made for the purpose of community meetings or public meetings then they also had an important place known as storehouses or granaries where these people used to store grains and these were found at harappa lothal as well as at mohenjodaro then one more important feature was these particular towns were surrounded by extremely strong walls and those were made out of the baked bricks we know that in these days we have a different variety of construction material we know how to bake the bricks and how important is the use of these bricks in the construction then we also use the cement blocks these days and a lot of cementing used for plastering of those bricks to make it tight but in those days those bricks were placed into the interlocking pattern how we fix our jigsaw puzzle same pattern was followed then an important thing which was found in the citadel area of mohenjodaro you can see the picture over here this one this is the mohenjodaro great bath so this was one of the special tank where the rich people or the religious people used to take a bath on special occasions and how was it made it was made with the lining of baked bricks and they also coated it with plaster and some natural tar to make it water tight so that the water does not flow from the crevices of the bricks so they have also mentioned the area of that particular bath so it was 39 into 23 feet and it was 8 feet deep another special feature which was found there was the fire altars in uh, that was in kalibangan in rajasthan and lothal in gujarat so those were used particularly for the performances of sacrifices these days also we use certain kind of a utensil which we get for performing the sacrifices in fire so we when we perform a havan or a yagna we use those particular havan kund what we call so those were the constructed fire altars in these places and they also find an importance in the indus valley civilization so as earlier i was just talking about the great bath so the great bath also had steps going inside can you see this the steps leading inside the tank and from the corners over here there was water inlet and also outlet of water after the usage the water would drain off there were wells constructed for hot water and cold water then around it there were surrounding all this area there were different kinds of rooms constructed so that people could use it after their dip in that tank was over so this is all from my side for today I hope you all have understood whatever things we have discussed. We just need to discuss about the houses, street, and the drainage system, which we will complete in the next session. So till we meet for the next session, bye from me. Take care. Stay healthy. Stay inside.